Good morning. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about photographing hummingbirds in your backyard. So come along and enjoy this adventure. Well today I'm in my backyard and today I'm going to try and photograph hummingbirds. Now here in North Carolina, the most dominant hummingbird that you will come across is a ruby-throated hummingbird. This hummingbird is only here in the summertime. They leave about the beginning of September. They come about the end of March. This bird is a beautiful bird. It's predominantly by a ruby-throated, the males have. The females are a much more duller, greener color. But this beautiful bird can be very easily photographed in your backyard. They are a very tolerant bird. If you find a place where this bird will show up, it will show up even if you're there. And they like to uh, return to the same place over and over again, which makes it an excellent opportunity for somebody to photograph them. Because let's say for the sake of an argument, a bird comes, you you miss it. If you wait about 20 minutes, it'll come back again. And that's one of the things what I love about photographing hummingbirds is that you can photograph them in the comfort of your backyard and be able to photograph them without any problems at all. And they're a beautiful bird to photograph. Well, the first thing we have to do when we're photographing birds in our backyard, especially hummingbirds, is we have to attract them to our backyard. And the easiest and best way to do that is to get a hummingbird feeder. These feeders are inexpensive. Making up the nectar that goes inside of them is very easily. Uh, every time you fill it, you should clean them really well. And there are some hummingbird feeders out there that are incredibly easy to maintain. The other option that you have is to grow native plants. Now this plant right here is um, a native plant here in North Carolina and has these beautiful red and yellow flowers. Now the hummingbirds love this flower because it's got this kind of um, uh, trumpet shape and they can just stick their bill right in there and get the nectar and they also, of course, the plant gets the pollination from this. But this is an incredible way for you to attract birds to your backyard. There are dozens and dozens of flowers you can plant in your backyard. And I only plant perennials because I really don't want to deal with every spring having to replant all these plants here. But that's the best two ways I have found to attract hummingbirds to your backyard. Get yourself a feeder and or get yourself some native plants that will attract the birds. But before I go into the settings of my camera, I want to talk about um, you guys leaving comments below. I strongly encourage you to leave comments below. Um, I respond to every one of them and I look forward to your comments every time I see them. So please leave your comments below. Um, the settings I use on my camera are pretty straightforward. I shoot an aperture priority. Um, this camera right here, this, I'm sorry, this lens right here is uh, a Sigma. It's uh, the widest aperture opens is 6.3. Um, my camera is a Cameron 5D Mark IV. And one of the things I don't like about this camera versus the camera that I have an ADD as my videotape camera, the ADD will take pictures in much lower light than this will. But right now, I like to shoot. So when I'm shooting hummingbirds, I like to shoot at about 900 to 1,000th of a second because that gives the wings kind of that blurry effect when you photograph them. Now, hummingbirds beat the wings up to a 1,000 times a second. So they're incredibly fast wings. And I really love that blurry effect. But if you don't like that effect, let's say you want the wings locked in place, you want them to be like frozen, then you're gonna have to shoot at a much higher ISO. And I found that 1500 to 2000 of a second is ideal for photographing um, hummingbirds and getting a fix. Now your camera may be a little different than my camera, but I strongly encourage you. And the great thing about hummingbirds and them coming to bait is that you can try different settings. So you can take the picture and then, and then try the settings at a different, um, shutter speed or whatever and you find what you like what makes you passionate about this um, and the great thing about it is they're in your backyard so if the light is great right now you can go out for a half an hour go in the backyard and try to take their picture and you can try it day after day after day until you find that perfect setting or that perfect effect that you love so I strongly encourage you to do this I think it's really easy to do. If you live in the Americas, hummingbirds are everywhere in the Americas. From all the way down to the end of South America, all the way to Alaska, there are hummingbirds. And I strongly encourage you to do this. Um, they are in passion of mine. I love doing it. 
Um, I wish I could spend the time to really do it. I actually went to Ecuador and photographed over 200 species of hummingbirds. And to this day, it was probably the most personally rewarding photo trip I ever went on. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel because that really helps us in the YouTube world. Become a Patreon supporter. Your support allows us to keep doing this. My name is Sean Leahy. I want to thank you for watching.